It turns out that a significant majority of people with Parkinson's disease, at least 70% is estimated, wind up having reduced sense of smell. In fact, it's a very early sign and can occur years before other motor problems that occur. People are kind of aware that decreased smell was part of the COVID epidemic. There are other sensory disturbances and other disorders. For example, and we now we have a patient with ALS who are treating who's doing well, but had increased visual acuity. But getting back to the Parkinson's, and then the question is, well, if you have reduced sense of smell, what can they do about it, even if they do detect early signs of Parkinson's? At this point, probably not a lot. There's no specific treatment for it, and, and you wouldn't take drugs, I don't think, for Parkinson's movement disorders if you didn't have a movement disorder. We are excited by our clinical trial in Parkinson's, where most of our patients are doing very well with exosomes. Our results are early. We're less than a year at this point. But if these results are proven out over time, it may well be that using exosomes early on may be a way to slow down the progression of the disease.